Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews. As you can see with the Logitech MX Audio. These are Logitech's latest um, speakers. So it's a 2.0 setup, not a 2.4, although there are two like massive bass holes here. You can put two fingers in each one. So they're quite bass heavy. More about the sound later. Let's start with a physical overview like I always do. They are roundish cloth on the front and then you get these, in my opinion, rather lovely uh, gray tones on the edges and on the back. It's all covered in a kind of soft touch like material and they're very simple, elegantly styled. At the top there's the Logi branding because it's Logi now and not Logitech, which makes zero sense to me whatsoever, but I'm not gonna rage about their marketing too much. Um, on the left one, massive L, that's just about all there is on it. On the right, you get all the IO. So you have that dedicated power supply connector, so that's one cable. Your second cable is then the cable that connects this right unit to the left unit. This cable is about one and a half meters long. It's quite thick, so it comes with kinks in it. They're hard to get out. Uh, I would really like to see it being removable from the left side as well and maybe have the option to use different lengths of cable but for now this one and a half meter cable is what you're stuck with. More on the right is your PC input and an auxiliary input. So that's two three and a half millimeter audio jacks so that's like two more than the average phone these days. Um, so you can hook it up to your computer and your game console or computer and a TV whatever you can hook it up over that. What's really nice though is that it also comes with Bluetooth 4.1. So that should give you about 25 meters if you have a, like a clean line of sight connection between a Bluetooth device and this right speaker. Um, so what I did is I hook up my uh, Surface Pro over Bluetooth and then also my phone right here. What's really nice if I just press pause on this unit and then I press play on the cell phone, it's just completely seamless. The connectivity with this thing is awesome, especially at this price point. Now, talking about the price point, at the time of me buying these, I didn't get these, I bought these myself. Uh, they're about 100 euros, so that's, I guess, pretty good value for the sound that we get. Now, audio is really difficult to talk about because I can't just play audio and let you guys listen to it because you're still going to be limited to my microphone and your headphones or your speakers. I'm gonna start off with the treble, so the higher pitched noises like female vocals and some like electronic guitars, that sort of stuff. It's super clear, uh, very well defined, it's just, it's there and it's very present and lovely and it sounds all quite good. Then, as we lower that frequency, getting into like the lower upper frequency range, if that makes any sense, or the mid range even, um, it's still very well supported, very clearly defined, but it's like, it's silent. It's definitely a very V-shaped frequency response curve uh, because when we get to the bass, um, it's super bass heavy. As I said, it's got these massive holes. Um, so it's very bass heavy because of the bass ports, I think. Uh, the bass is also not as good as the higher frequencies. So it's a tiny little bit muddy in my opinion. And yeah, sometimes a bit unclear. Uh, also, if you have like male vocals or like just people talking with like a really low voice, it'll start act weird a little bit. It's almost like inconsistent in the bass profile. Overall though, I really can't complain too much about the uh, audio signature of these because we get really good sound stage. It's just good audio. It's very present. There's a lot of sound without going with a very high volume. And I really like that, but the bass is a little bit too much for my liking. So to conclude then, at 100 euros, the Logitech MX Sound, I think is a great buy if they work with the aesthetic of the setup you're going with. Connectivity is awesome. You get two wired devices, two wireless devices. 
super easy to connect. You just press the little button here on the fabric for three seconds and you can connect over Bluetooth. The fabric um, doesn't smudge from dirty fingers. I was kind of scared of that, but you know, so far after a week and a half, it's held out nicely. Uh, and I mean, I'm not eating a lot behind my computer, but you know, it's still very clean and I have been messing around with the volume a lot. Um, negatives are no volume indicator. Um, so you just have to guess how loud it's going to be. So if someone else in the house is already asleep, you might want to check very, you know, quietly first. Um, but other than that, I really like them. So guys, if you like this video, press that like button. If you don't, hit the subscribe button for next week's video. And uh, if you want to support the channel like the awesome people on your screen right now, there's a Patreon link for that. If you want to get more frequent updates than just these weekly videos, there is Instagram and Twitter linked in the description below. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.